didn't turn out bad. just got my ends trimmed and it looks so much better oh my goodness like my ends were all over the place so I lost a little bit of a length I think I lost like an inch of length but whatever it'll grow back so I'm not tripping I'm just excited that when I finally wear my hair curly it's all gonna be even <laughs> and I can get back to doing curly hairstyles I really want to try to do this like roller set style that I've been seeing and it just looks so good. So I'm going to try a roller set here real soon. But I'm eating some pineapple. Mm. My favorite fruit. <laughs> Today to take a little bit of time and just give you guys a one-year update on my implant exchange that I did about a year ago. Allergan, the company I got my initial set of implants from, did an implant recall. And if you were not up on like everything that was going on, basically what happened was the textured implants, what they found is that over time the texture would actually be a place that cancer could end up growing out of. It's almost like the scar tissue over time just did not like that texture. So long story short, they recommended people have either an exchange or a total removal with a caps, I think they call it a capsulectomy or something like that, where they take the whole capsule, which is basically like scar tissue that grows around the implant out. So I had my implants taken out, the capsule taken out, and then I did a replacement with the smooth impl implants. I decided I was cool with doing the smooth because the data around the smooth was way, 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 way better than the data around the texture. Like the problem was legit with the actual texture. So I did a swap. 
I do not regret it. It's been a little bit over a year. I will say though, I have had my moments where I was like, I probably didn't need to do this. Like I have enough tissue where I don't think it makes that big of a difference in terms of my volume. My implants now are smaller than the old ones I used to have. And basically the shirt I'm wearing is not really easy to see like what's going on. But he pretty much put them where they kind of sit right here. So it gives me cleavage. So I have like that nice little crease. It almost is like it curves around like this. And then it looks like more volume here. So I got the volume going on right here because of the implants. But that's about it. So I don't really think it was necessary for me to get these. I honestly think if I would have just given myself time when I was younger, I would have realized I was going to get a lot of that volume back that I lost when I had my first baby. And I probably wouldn't have got them at all. Like to be totally frank with you guys, I think if anything, I would have just did a lift. I decided not to do a lift this time though because I didn't like the scars. I did not like the scarring that comes with the lift and I just, I don't know. After the twins and everything I went through with my stomach, I just didn't want any more scars on my body, so I decided to just do the exchange, which was an easier recovery than had I got a lift and all that other stuff too. So that's my update. I'm happy. I pray I don't have to have another revision, but as we know, the implants are considered a short-term device. It's not a long-term lifetime device, unfortunately. So I just pray I do not have to have a reconstruction or a replacement in my lifetime because it's overrated. But I hope this kind of helps someone who's out there, like those of you who may be going through the same thing I went through about a year ago, where I had to decide what I was gonna do, or for those of you who have even decided or debated on getting implants yourself because implants, it's not like some things you can do where if you get a nose job, you're done, you're one and done, okay? You do a fat transfer, you're one and done for the most part. But you do implants, Typically, you gotta have them boys re replaced at some point in your life. So, you know, it's kind of crazy. But I'm looking at this hair and I'm just like, boy, you really blew up on me. Like, so much for, <laughs> so much for straight, flowy tresses. But I'm, I'm gonna embrace my, um, I'm gonna embrace the fro, okay? We are gonna embrace it. <laughs> so anyways, I'm real quick. I'm about to fix my nails. I broke one of my nails and I really have been feeling these these white smoky milky i guess you call it milky white nails i really like them i feel like they're just fun easy enough for me to do myself and i just i love them but i've been popping these things off like i've honestly i've already fixed three of them so i have to figure out what am i doing wrong that my nails are not sticking they're not adhering to my base nail and just really like grabbing a hold of it because i'm doing everything the video say you're supposed to do but I don't know. So I'm gonna fix these real quick and then probably change so I can be comfortable for the rest of my night. Finishing the weekend off with a little bit of plonk. The twins have gone back to their dad's house, so it's very quiet here right now. Brian is reading. Brian, what are you reading? What book is that? Don Lemon's book. This is the fire. This is. The, is it good so far? Yeah, it's cool. It's good. What I say to my friends about racism. Oh, okay. You're already halfway through. You're doing pretty good. 
Brian likes to read the actual hardback version of the books, whereas I'm more of an audible girl. But he'll have to give me the download of that book when he um, gets done with it. Because I don't typically read books like that. I, I typically read more self-help, you know, things about just trying to elevate myself in some particular area. But those books are really good too. It's just... I'm bad with being consistent, so when I do read, I feel like I have to read that stuff. <laughs> but he's been doing really good. So, as y'all can see, my hair has officially fluffed all the way out. And I really don't want to put more heat on it again, because I'm always worried that it won't come back. So, I'll probably be in my curls tomorrow, but we'll see. Maybe I'll wrap it and put, like, some product on it and see if that'll pop it back. I don't know. <laughs> but... I also, when I went about a week or so ago, I went to Home Goods. I got these glasses and I was so excited. The glasses were in these boxes and I think it said like Tommy Bahama or something like that. And I was so excited because I found these glasses. I love the look. Got them home and realized they're plastic. So I don't know if you guys can hear that, but. <laughs> My mom was like, actually, that'll be perfect for outside in the summer or let's say we're getting in the hot tub. When we have the hot tub, we can take our plastic glasses out there and don't have to worry about breaking real glass. So I guess it'll have its win-wins, but I was actually a little bit disappointed. Brian's like, did you know you bought plastic glasses or plastic wine cups? <laughs> I'm like, yes, I do now. <laughs> so... Yeah, this video is probably a lot shorter than my normal video that you guys see for my Friday weekly vlogs, but I wanted to just give you that update that I gave you earlier and also share with you me straightening my hair and chopping it. I lost, I was looking at the picture that is in the thumbnail and I was like, yeah, I lost a lot, but it was so uneven. So I should be on a pretty good journey now when it comes to my hair. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait though until I can be a little more active and take y'all along for the ride. But I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video and for checking out my weekly vlog. And if you missed my weekly vlog, definitely check that one out too. I'll put a little pop up up here, I think it'll be. And definitely check your girl out and let me know what y'all think. I have one more announcement, you guys. We are going to be moving our Friday Clubhouse conversations to Instagram. It's, I feel like it's easier on Instagram. We kind of went back and forth about it because clubhouse it's easy for people to come on stage and talk you can moderate things really easily but at the same time IG is where most of the people who wanted to join are at so I figured why not just do it all on Instagram and make it simple or keep it simple so we're gonna try it on Instagram this week this Friday and we're actually gonna be talking about YouTube so for those of you who are trying to start new YouTube channels or you've always thought about it definitely come and check us out on Instagram Live this Friday at 8.45 Eastern Standard Time. But with that, you guys, I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here. So thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end, and I will see you on Friday in my weekly vlog. Bye! Bye.